Ellie, you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Nah, I'll leave you alone. Ugh. I haven't posted a video in a while. Mm. So I don't really have a... Well, I don't have an explanation as to why I haven't posted a video. Uh, I have reasons, but they're not excuses. You know what? I'm back. And I'm back with something I... Wait that I'm excited about. I finally, what am I gonna say? But you guys don't really care that I've been gone. I mean, life went on and now I'm back. So let's just do this unboxing video. I found this makeup brand through Twitter. They're called Beauty Bakery. They've seen a really big increase in their following. I think that's because they've been doing an excellent job at PR and branding. I placed an order. Unfortunately, at the time, the Neapolitan ice cream palette was out of stock. I paid for it. They refunded me and said, here's a $5 off or like $10 off coupon that you can use on your next purchase. And I just think that's really excellent customer service. They just went ahead and refunded me my money reached out to me to tell me that part of my order had been canceled, asked me if I wanted to keep the order, if I wanted to just cancel the whole order, and then proceeded to give me a discount to use towards my next order. Like, exceptional customer service. Of course, you know, I was like, okay, great customer service, let me go ahead and make another order the next day. I have two boxes to do in this unboxing. Let me just go ahead and get into it. So the first package is already open. I can't even remember when I bought it. That's a problem. So it just comes in a regular USPS first class mail box. Inside is a really cute card that has, I think at the time they were promoting their So Icy Illuminators. And so they just have this card that has the So Icy Illuminators, all the shade ranges. Inside I have the Beauty Bakery Gelato to Go. A uh, fine smudge free gel line eyeliner and the gelato to go finds okay oh so I bought two I, I bought two eyeliners oh okay it's 12 o'clock in the morning I do not recall I bought it in the black milk color and the mint bacchio color bacchio bacchio the mint color I also bought the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in the color S'mores de War. S'more. Or Dor? No. Or. Or Durs? Or Durs. So, S'mores or Durs. No. Just S'mores Doors. S'mores Doors? My favorite purchase that I'm really excited to try is the Beauty Bakery. Illuminator in the color I believe I got glazed. It doesn't say it on the package, but I'm pretty sure on the invoice it tells me yes, I got it in. Um, mm -hmm. It just says highlighter. So I got it in a color that I don't know. Okay, well, we tried. So my second purchase, I went ahead and bought a ton of their eyeshadows and it, instead of it coming in this big cardboard box, it came in this nice chocolate brown box. Ooh, okay, so at the time I was buying it, they started promoting their setting powder, which is actually coming out today and I'm really excited about this. Oh my god, I hate these boxes. They're so cute. This theme of being a bakery is adorable. Look at this box. It like treats in this. And inside it just has all of my ice cream to go pots. Oh my god. The colors I got. The colors I got are sugar water, which is the reason why I even went back to the site. Soiree Parfait, 
crumb cake, pancake, which I think is gonna be the perfect base for any um, eyeshadow or eye look, especially if I want it to be very vibrant. I think this is gonna be perfect for that, or like a really neutral, natural cut crease. This is, this is a look. Also got the color cookie dough, and black for the berry, as well as sherbet bar. <sighs> They're so pretty. So the packaging for this looks like any other pot jar. Like it literally looks exactly like my ColourPop packaging, except for the glass is frosted and the cap is the cutest color of pink I have ever seen. They're just keeping with this cute theme and I'm really, like I'm really here for it. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> they don't get me for my coin. Oh my God, it's so pigmented. Why are these so soft? So this one is Soiree Parfait, and it's a really pretty pink color. Um, I don't wear enough pink eye looks, and I have a lot of pink eyeshadow, which um, at first pissed me off, but then now I'm using it as an excuse to experiment with pink eyeshadow, or like mauve tones. I try, you know, for the more pink look today. I'm going to swatch Pancake, which is the color I said would be great for um, prepping my lids. And yeah, I was right. Because I, I found that if I use white eyeshadow or like a white color as a base, it's really hard to blend out. I mean, <laughs> Blending is not my forte anyway, but uh, it's really hard to blend out white on my skin. Okay, it's not a good look. Next one I'm going to swatch is the cookie dough ice cream. Um, I'm a little worried, it looks kind of like pancake. Ooh, but it's shimmery, I like that. Plus it's more golden. Um, pancake is definitely more of a pink white undertone and uh, Cookie dough is definitely golden and shimmery, yellow, it's pretty. The next one I will be swatching is crumb cake. And I saw, these are so soft. And you would think I would be like, oh, it, they're just soft. But like every time I put my finger in one of these jars, I'm just like reminded like, dang, these are really soft. Crumb cake is a really pretty matte mob. I'm pretty sure I have this exact color in my Carly Bible palette. Um, but I just really like, I like how matte this is. It's like not budging. When they say what smudge, they mean what smudge. Okay, the next color I got is Sherbert Bar. Honestly, I, I don't know why I picked up all these pink colors. I don't know. I was probably thinking, ooh, looks, looks. They're so pretty for looks, but I don't. I don't put pink on my face. I have like, really? I have pink lipsticks, pink eyeshadows that I don't wear and I just I keep purchasing them. But this is a pretty color, like it's very pretty. It has a sheen to it, so it's not shimmer, but it's kind of like a satin. Is that the word, satin? Maybe it'd be nice as like an all over lid color. All right, and my final color is the sugar water. I didn't even mean to, but I saved the best for last. Turn up. Even in the package, it looks gorgeous. But, I gagged. I almost threw up. Why is this so pretty? It's shimmery, but it's not overbearing, and it's not light, but it's not dark. It's a nice mid-tone blue. Next, I am going to swatch the So Icy Illuminator. What? Who told you this was okay? Who said you could shift my wig? Who said? I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of what came out and stare at it in awe because this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. 
What color is this? I'm tired. God, okay. I found my favorite highlighter in the world. Interviews are closed. We are no longer accepting applications. Position has been filled. So that's it's just, you know, just tap some. The packaging kind of scares me though, because knowing me, oh boy. So it's actually very controlled. Knowing me, I thought this whole thing was about to spill out. <laughs> it has like little flecks of glitter and it just reflects the light like, why? For what? For what? The last two items I'm going to swatch are the Gelato to Go. The word, use your word. Eyeliner. And they come in the same kind of packaging as the ice creams, but they have a blue top. I'm gonna swatch it with my finger right now. Okay, it's a black, it's a black gel eyeliner. Okay, nice. Easy to work with, probably. Our box. I'm just gonna put that in there. The final item I will be swatching in this unboxing is the Beauty Bakery Gelato Eyeliner in Mint Baccio. Baccio. Whatever. Ooh, it's a pretty blue. It's such a pretty blue. I was thinking of using it along with the sugar water. Like, look how pretty. Oh my god. I almost forgot. I have a lipstick to swatch. Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in the color S'more Doors. Cute name, hard to pronounce for, you know, confused people like me. This is beautiful packaging, gorgeous. Ooh. I thought it would be a nice, my lips, but better color. But this is definitely a true brown, um, well, not, not a true brown, this is definitely a brown lip color. I also like um, how all these products don't smell like anything. I'm really happy I found this brand. I follow them on Twitter and Snapchat and the owner, I believe, she posted a Snapchat the other day talking about how she had cancer a couple years ago or maybe last year, I'm not sure the time frame, but she was talking about how she was working really hard and this she couldn't even believe how far she had come. And Something about that was so inspirational to me. As with everyone else, I deal with my own issues and sometimes those issues can get in the way of me doing what it is I need to do and what it is that makes me happy and what it is that I'm good at. So when I watched her Snapchat, I thought to myself, yo, get it together. You can do it if she can do it and other people in the world can do it, you can live the life that you want to live and you can live your best life. That is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of the support, even though I don't post often. You guys have continued to support me and I've continued to see more of you join my channel and I'm just really appreciative. I'm really appreciative of it all. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Make sure that you go out and do at least one thing for yourself and one thing for someone else. Until next time. I didn't say that in so long. Until next time. Bye. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. I know. Mommy's crazy.